to Staplewood this week for Southampton under-21s as they face Liverpool on Monday evening. Saints are without a win in their last four league games, whilst Liverpool have shot up the table, beating the likes of Chelsea and Manchester City, helping them to 12 points over the same period. Jake Keskiff netted the third in a 3-1 win against the Reds up at Anfield earlier this season and is keen to add more goals to his game. Obviously, that we know we can beat them. Um, we perform when it mattered against so-called one of the bigger teams at a big stadium and I think that gives us confidence. And just a word on the fact you did score your only goal of the season against Liverpool. How important is it to, to try and get a few more between now and the end of the season? Um, yeah, last season I got quite a few. I've been playing slightly further back but it's still something I want to add had to, although I did think I got the one at Chelsea, but <laughs> a bit of debate over that one. How has this role change? How have you found it? Um, I've enjoyed it. I mean, it's getting game time on the pitch and that's what you want to do at the end of the day. I mean, if I had my, my choice, I'd want to be getting in and amongst the goals and getting further up the pitch because that's where I've grown up playing, but I've enjoyed playing it and it's a different role and it's something I've learnt to. And, Obviously, being able to play different positions helps, like progressing to the first team and obviously future in your careers, rather than limiting yourself to one position, definitely helps. So Saints fell down to fourth after last week's defeat against Norwich, but are still well in the title race. And again, a win could see them top. Liverpool sit one place above Martin Hunter's side, so a win could prove a huge boost for either side. They've, uh, they've been playing very well recently. Um, I looked at some footage of them. Looks like they're mirroring the uh, the shape and how the first team play. So uh, we'll need to, to do some work on that. But uh, we're expecting a tough game, like always. Um, they've got some very good young players, so it um, it will be a uh, tight contest, I would imagine, on Monday evening. It's two sides who are in perhaps different form league-wise at the moment. Do you think that can affect things on Monday? Quite possibly, but. Um, we're looking to obviously get back on uh, a winning streak within um, within the league, and uh, <clears throat> most teams, you know, have a, have a flat patch during the season, and it's uh, it's our opportunity now to bounce back with a win. Um, the league is very very tight. When you look at the uh, the results earlier this week, you're looking at the Man, Man United drawing with um, with Spurs and uh, Liverpool beating Everton. So that that really does pack the teams together. As you say, a couple of wins in the league and you could be right back top again. We've always really um, discussed it. That obviously, we're in a running like any other club. And the, the club that puts a, 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 you know, a string of performances together now in our league can win the league. It's two teams on sort of different runs of form in the league, isn't it? Yeah, it is. We've not been on the best of runs, but hopefully the cup run can give us a bit of confidence. And Well, we've got to turn it around at some point, so Monday will be a good time to start. As players, how do you see yourselves turning this round? Um, just keep working hard on the training ground. We, we know we've got it in us, I think. just a bit of confidence maybe. I think once we get winning again, we'll be all right. Why do you think there perhaps is that difference at the moment between the, the cup form and the league form? Uh, hard to say, really. I think maybe a bit. there's a bit more motivation in the cup maybe for some players. Some people see it as a chance to win something. And I think... It's sort of the Chelsea Everton so close together and knocked the stuffing out of us a bit in the league and it dented a few people's confidence. But and it's hard to say really. It's of course third v fourth as well, despite the, the difference in form. It's a real chance for one of the teams to build up some real momentum going into the final games of the season. Yeah, I mean we're in the final running of it now, so getting a win now we've really kick start it for the running and I mean it's so close up there. If someone puts a good few weeks of runs and wins together then I think it's anyone's to take. As Saints prepare for their under 21 Premier League Cup final in the coming weeks, Silverware has already arrived at Staplewood. Ryan Seeger won the inaugural Barclays under 21 Premier League Player of the Month award, something that Hunter says is fully deserved. And that's down to his diligence, his hard work and his uh, tough mentality. You don't, you don't become a goal scorer like that, he's done it throughout his career and he stepped up into the under 21 leagues and he's a definite threat. And those 15 goals, you know, at any level, 15 goals in a season at this stage is, is very impressive. It is, and I think he'll get more. If we can get him the ball, then he will score goals for sure.